Happy Monday, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good Monday so far. Uh, we are down one person. Um, Vort is going to be out tonight. Um, hopefully we uh, wish that he feel, uh, hopefully he's feeling better. Uh, but I believe I had left us last time uh, with the uh, you folks had discovered the um Hawthorne? folks had dis the Hawthorne uh, Conservatory mm -hmm. and uh, that was what you were going to look into next let me just step down your stress because it's been you had a night to sleep and get rid of your stress oh yeah omera was actually borrowing jerry's copy of hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy and trying to talk um wow i forgot her name jillian <laughs> jilly yeah, yeah. Trying to talk Jillian into letting them borrow the first, the, the kids. Um. Mostly while they're doing their thing at the, the Hawthorne Conservatory. That's not, yep. that's not what Elmira does. Yeah, no, that makes yeah. sense. Yep. Um, so Don't the. Don't put them anywhere uh, you need to talk to people. <laughs> um, so we'll do it the next. Uh, next day, you stop over. Um, and, uh, oh, and Jillian answers the door. Uh, Omira, correct? Did I get the name right? Yes. Uh, you wanted, Hugo said you wanted to, uh, come over and take a look at the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy First Edition? Yes, and and they like wave the the the, the normal printing that they have. Oh. I was going to I forgot the word. <laughs> C catalog the 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 differences. Ah, okay. Um sure. Um Come on in. Um And uh, you, uh, she leads you to his study. Um, go ahead and uh, you can um, set up here. And uh, go at it. Uh, I'm kind of curious about it myself. Thank you. Um, and uh, she leaves you alone. And you start, you start working. Um, then, um, after about, you know, an, an hour in, um, the, the chair you're sitting in, uh, you feel, um, it shift a little bit. As uh, this, um, as the baby pulls himself to a standing position and and, mm -hmm. and works his way around uh, to the front of it, and then he pats your lap. Oh yes, and and. Uh Omera will like reach down and like gently mm -hmm. pick him up, set him on her, set him on their knee. Okay. Um, he gives you this quizzical look, and. And he scrunches up his face. Uh, 
real tight uh and then he just slumps forward and puts his head on your chest and uh and takes a nap yeah they'll try to keep working one hand one hand keeping baby safe and the other yep turning and <laughs> yeah um give me Oh, I should open up their digital sheet. Yeah, give me a mental notice. Roll. Oh, man. I should have had this open ahead of time. Uh, do any of my distinctions come into play here? Um, I don't know what I'm noticing, so I can't, I don't know which one to ask for. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, give me two, give me two seconds. Wow, there it is. Um, I gotta look them up. Come on. Uh, sorry about this, folks. Taking me a second to. There it is. There it is. Come on, one more. System. The one problem with having a good hierarchical structure. <laughs> is, so many folders. Yes, so many folders. Um, within folders, within folders, within folders. Mm -hmm. And where did you where did you figure out where's Omira's character sheet? Um, I believe it's in our group DMs. I want to say I pinned it in that chat there. Okay, then I must. Uh, yep. Where we were talking. Um, yep. About Ray and Omira and their history. Right. Yeah, that's where I remember. There it is. Okay. Um, that would have been quicker to find it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I would say it's the uh, first one. Prison sentence. All right. Yep. Cool. Are you gonna? Did are you gonna roll? Oh yeah, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I knew it was going to be like this. I rolled way too well in my game yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Not a single failure. Okay. Wow. No. Um, no, you're doing fine. Um, you honestly don't notice, uh, you don't notice any difference. Um, honestly, you know, um, it's only like a couple minutes later, um, that Jillian, um, Jillian comes in. Uh, actually, it's like less than a minute later than Jillian comes in and goes, he's getting faster and faster. And, you know, confirms he's okay. And uh, then she sits down on a nice comfy chair in there and she's out like a light. <laughs> Um, and you <laughs> just dressing a mayor to babysit, <laughs> yeah. And and you're just keep working. working. Um, <laughs> it uh, what is the kid's name? Why do I not have that written down? I have his initials written down, yeah. It's in the it's in the information. Uh, I am trying to, it's fine. I'll yep, I'll find it. Yeah. Not Johnny or it's something with a guy, okay, but yeah, we okay. Anyways, um, all right. So you're you're going through cataloging the stuff. Um, Rhoda. Yes. Um. You get a um, 
a knock on the uh on your door when you when you rent out space to people mm -hmm. um how do you set it up because this is pre airbnb or oh well they just pay her what they can she just helps people out okay so yep yeah um all right there's a there's a there's a polite knocking at your at your door is this morning yep at a reason it's a reasonable time in the morning okay um she is probably already up cheery opens the door with her coffee good morning good morning um i uh opening the door you see uh, a guy there in a um Tall, uh, about uh, about six foot three. Um, mm -hmm. thin, uh, thin, fairly thin build. A uh, pair of um, pair of well worn hiking boots on, and well broken in jeans. Um, let's see the time of year. Um. Wearing a, uh, yeah, wearing a Carhartt uh, jacket, uh, a light I one. What is that? Uh, so it's a, it's a workman's jacket. Okay. Rugged, uh, can take a, can take a beating. Um, okay. The, um. Sorry, took me a second. Um, yeah, looks like he's got a couple days growth of beard on him. Um, mid twenties. Um, wearing a pair of glasses. Um, and sandy brown hair. Hi, I was told that uh, you uh, you let people that you could get a room here. Or a spot yeah. to sleep for the night? Sure. Would you like some coffee? That would be great. How about you have a seat out here on the patio? I'll get some coffee, and you can tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Sounds good. And I'll good. get all the papers. Sounds good. So she's going to go in and get some coffee, and per her routine, she's going to open up her third eye as she comes out to make sure... She's fully prepared for what she's about to encounter in this conversation. Okay, let's see. First thing, let's roll 2d6. Nope. Okay. Not Cthulhu. <laughs> what? Well, I just had to check to see if I was going to throw Cthulhu at you. Oh, okay. Oh, no. We're getting to that point now. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and roll, <laughs> open your third eye. I'm going to do mental, magical, and third eye. Okay, let's not roll like last week. I only rolled a 12 on 2d10 or 2d8s. Um, I'll use a plot point down the other one in. That still only gets you to 10. I don't care. I'm still doing it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, he is persistent. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, you. Uh, he just wants to know. Dealing with the Fey. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, looks fairly uh, healthy guy. Uh, looks fairly normal. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, Fairly normal in the Dresden universe could mean a lot of things. <laughs> so, are we talking human? Yes. Yep. No okay. glamours. He doesn't have. He, he, you don't pick up on any glamours. And um, because I'm a trained combat person, do I notice any weapons? 
That doesn't require my third eye. That requires my combat training. That would require a notice roll, which we can do next. Um, Fine. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, just a mundane, maybe a tiny bit of um, of power, but nothing you think, nothing you think you can do anything with. It's more of uh, just probably... At that level, it normally just gives people a certain knack for things. Okay. As I walk out, I'm going to roll notice to see if I see if maybe he's carrying or has any scuffs on his hands or anything that shows that he's a fighter. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Okay, and I'm rolling. I'm going to roll mental, no. notice, and Valkyrie. Yes. Ooh, what did you get? I got a nine and you got a 13. Okay. Um, so, um, yep, you, uh, he, he's taken off his jacket because the sun's shining kind of nice. Hung it on the back of the uh, chair. Um, you do spot the uh, um, the boot knife that he has, but he's honestly not going that difficult to um, to hide it. Um, the um, you figure he probably, and he's got a Leatherman, um, the small Leatherman pouch uh, is your best best estimate on his uh, belt. Okay. Um, his, his knuckles are not scarred up or anything like that. Um, his arms, you know, have some scratches on them and everything like that, but they could easily become from hiking. Do I see any uh, tattoos? No tattoos. Um, he does have a he does have a knapsack with him. Um, that is also well worn. Uh, okay. Here's the coffee. Thank you. I uh, kind of yeah. stands up as you come out. Uh, what was your name again? Mm. Uh, Mal. Mal? Yes. Awesome. What, do you have a last name? Uh, sure. It's Mal Rosenberg. Okay. Awesome. How long do you think you'll need to stay? Uh, let's see. Probably just a couple days. I got a, I got, you know, uh, see a couple things in town, do some laundry. We have laundry facility here that you can use at no charge. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Yes. That'll, that'll are you help. Just, are you just passing through? That's my plan, yeah. Um, it's still traveling, trying to, trying to get a last bit of hiking in before it gets cold. Um, yeah, we get lots of hikers up in yeah. this area. Yeah, no, I figure I th this point I can make my way, make my way down to, uh, maybe I down to New York to New York City after this. Maybe get a job down there. Um, Are you or, from this area? Um, no. Uh, used to spend some time with my family and top with, with family on Tupper Lake. Um, oh, okay. But no, we're kind of from now, uh, mostly down from Passaic, New Jersey, uh, where I grew oh. up. I like the cold. I love the winter. I think the snow is just gorgeous. So I, I can't wait when winter is coming. I get so sad when it's over. Oh, it's nice. I mean, it's nice to see. It's nice to see the leaves change like they are, like they have now. But I, yeah. uh, it's, it, it's, it's at the edge of, uh, the weather I'd like to hike in. 
Right, right. So I'm going to put you down for three days. Um, well, and you'll just be checking out the sites, I guess, for three days. Yeah, probably. Uh, see what there is to see in, in Albany and, uh, and going from there. Awesome. Do you have any interests or anything? Because I, I know lots of people in town. Maybe there's something you might be interested in doing. Um, honestly, probably, uh, probably hit some, probably hit some museums. I haven't hit anything that's in this area yet. Hmm. Um, see what, uh, see what's in the area. Look at some, look at some of the older, uh, the older buildings, uh, from the time period. Really? I actually have a friend that's been really interested in a museum recently. He really likes museums that have like old records in them. Very, very interested in them. Mm. But anyway, I also teach um, for the police academy in or in town a combat training class. If you're ever interested in anything like that, I know you may be surprised. I know I'm a little bit smaller, but um, they're re they need uh, a lot of help. Pretty bad. Uh, no, I learned not to uh, not to put too much stock in just snap judgments like that. Uh, Prob probably, um, probably smart. Well, um, I'll show you where you'll be staying. We have some other guests here. The only rule I have is um, don't be a jerk because if you disrespect someone here, you'll have to deal with me. And um, I do shoot guns and uh, punch pretty hard. So if you need anything, people will show you around. And um, again, my name's Rhoda, and my information is on the board there if you need anything. Okay, thank you, Rhoda. This is a, uh, I, I, uh, I'll, I'll take your warnings to heart, and uh, I wasn't planning on being a jerk anyways. <laughs> Well, you'd be surprised. Sometimes we find out we're a jerk when we don't realize it. So if you end up being one, don't worry. We'll help you put it away. <laughs> he gives he gives you a grin. Okay. I I, I can uh I can handle that. Okay. Well I gotta get ready to go um teach some police officers how to fight. Okay. Uh thank you. And you show them to the space? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, yep. He, he starts getting his stuff out of his pack, takes care of, uh, looks like he's getting ready to do laundry. Perfect. Um, okay. Um, Sydney. Yeah. Not Sydney. Uh, so I responded like, to it anyways. Yes, but, uh, <laughs> so uh, these ears were probably rigging up all the talk yeah. of the police oh. department how poorly they can fight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so you are, uh, <laughs> uh, so you're. How are you, you're trying to set up your credential, give yourself some, some credentials for, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm essentially researching, uh, as much as I can to try to figure out what kind of cover would work best for both, uh, what skills Ray has already that would be applicable to it as well as uh, a good cover for Hugo based on what skills I know he has. Um, for him, I'm kind of thinking like a historian antiquities dealer kind of thing. 
So are you going to you, you you're you're coming up with something brand new as in a new another identity for him or just giving Unless him Unless his original identity would work. Um based on what uh, I know of the Hawthorne Conservatory since they're the ones that control the access for the most part. Right? Yes, yep, they would. Yeah. Uh, let me look. I think that was the last thing you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a serious success. Okay. Um, so, yep, yeah, that was the last thing you did was look into them. So, um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and give me a an applicable no roll in All order right. to figure out what how well what Hugo is because Hugo is spending some time putting some stuff together. Right. Um, let's see. What would I would know of Hugo and mental? I don't think fine arts or magic would necessarily apply, right? Fine arts would. Fine arts would? Okay. Yep. Because that, 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 falls, that falls into it. The whole conservatory stuff falls awesome. into it. That is good for me. Then. Um. Well, I roll pretty good. Yes, yeah. nice. not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll use uh, my no fine arts with my mental, and then uh, yeah, I'll do uh, my uh, con man distinction. Yep. To figure out how to make this work. Um, use resources like contacts and whatnot. How would that go into it? Um, okay. What res what contacts did you set? Uh, you, you well, just... I have a lot of different ones to choose from. Um, I have, uh, contacts with, I mean, organized religion, supernatural, criminal, uh, business, oh. government. If you were, yeah. if you were to try, if you were to tap your government, the thing is, you can only, you can only tap it mm -hmm. so many times a session. Exactly right. So yeah. it's up to you if you want to tap into it. If you want to tap uh, that particular, mm -hmm. that particular one, criminal would definitely work. If okay. you want to tap that now, uh, you, uh, you can't use that um, later on. Well, you have to. You can use it once more with a plot point. Okay. Actually. I'm going to do it. Let's see how this works. You can use it, but every time you use it after the first time requires a plot point, and then okay. it just keeps going up. Okay. So second time is one plot point. Third time is two plot points to yes. do it. Yes, yep. And so on and so forth. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Yeah, why not? And it does that add a fourth die to it then? or? Yeah, that would add a fourth die to it. Nice. All right. So I'm going to uh, kind of use what criminal networks I know okay. to help uh, figure out good covers for both me and Hugo then. Okay. That most... is essentially what this role is for, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, and well, yeah, to, to do that or... and evaluate and evaluate if Hugo's current, evaluate what you need to do to get into there. Right. Hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. This is just to figure out what to do, not actually yeah. making the materials to have it happen. So, yes. uh, you said I could do government. Um, right? government, no? government would government would probably work. Yes, also. Okay. I I will do government for this one, in mm -hmm. the hopes that when I actually need to make the materials, then I'm going to lean on my criminal context. To... Okay. Make that happen. All right. Here it goes. All right. Uh, 14? So I, I have a 14, and so do you. <laughs> uh, um, is it meter beat or? Oh, um, well, I'll tell you what you know now. Um, okay. You're pretty sure you goes. Hugo's isn't gonna isn't gonna fly. Okay. Um, 
he will need a cover for him as well. Yeah, to the to the outside world, mm. he, he he yeah. He, he's a herbalist. He, yeah, he at best teas. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, at best he's a herbalist. Sells teas. At worst, um, he sells you know magical crystals. Right. Yeah, magical crystals. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, and had a uh, that's fair. And had a gypsy. <laughs> um. All oh, right, a gypsy do card readings. For, do yeah, doing telling uh, reading palms out of his uh, yeah. thing for uh, for a year. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> it, I mean, if he still wants to try to make some money that way, I could do it now. <laughs> it would just be in a completely different way. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, there was a bit of that with. Uh, there was quite a bit of that with Adrian. She yeah. had yeah. the social know-how. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Only she would actually see some things that were truthful in it, whereas I would just be making everything up. <laughs> but oh, yeah, you okay. got. Uh, but yeah, Hugo's just not gonna. If you go, if you want to get Hugo in there, you got to create a. Uh, mm -hmm. A, you got to create something, and mm -hmm. um, it probably needs a disguise. Gotcha. All right, uh, um, and and maybe okay. something with um, something mysterious, so he doesn't talk too much. Okay. <laughs> hmm, I wonder why that is. Um, Needs a disguise so he's not recognized is essentially what you mean you in that. I think part. so. Uh, it, you definitely don't. Well, mm -hmm. they're, they're working locally, so I mean, exactly. In theory, somebody could come in. Would uh, it work if, uh, like, I go in under a cover as a, uh, you know, something to do with the book? I'll figure that part out. Um, and I have a business card that uh, I'm working on behalf of someone related to uh, the wizard, the old wizard that helped write part of the charter. Or is that historically <sighs> known that Titus was involved? It is not historically known that that was it is one not thing. Historically known. You have okay. one thing you have discovered is that it's yeah, just. Uh, yeah, it's not known that Titus um, was involved. His his signature is not on the mundane mm -hmm. version of the dirt. Gotcha. Or the mund actually, it's it's only one. It's one charter, right? But on the mundane perceivable side of it, the mm -hmm. Titus does not have his name. Okay. Would I uh, be able to use someone that is known to have been involved in the writing of the charter to uh, oh, that try family? to pose? Yeah, that family is interested in the book and the fact that there's something else written within, like someone else penned something that isn't hasn't um, been actually logged. That way, I can look closely at the book and research it and everything. Yeah, that would definitely be that would definitely be doable. Okay. Um, and that way they can, if they're asked questions, I'll just hand them his number. You know, they call a burner phone or something that I give them, and he just has to, you know, say, yes, this guy is legit over yep. the phone. That's it. Yep. Yeah, you'd be able to go in like that, yes. Awesome. You, it, you'd, have to, you'd have to set things up and everything like that, but you'd be able mm -hmm. to, you would be able to build that... Uh, that con getting getting you go in that way would be more difficult. Right, yeah. Uh as so yeah, I'll get to someone involved in the initial charter. Okay. So that's what I'll do for him. Would uh, the idea of uh, Ray posing as a codecologist work? 
study of codexes, manuscript books, uh, that sort of thing. That would probably work, yeah, as long as you did enough research so you could talk your way past it. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I figured that not only, like, he would have to do research to really seem like a professional in that, but at least that would play off of some of the skills that he has already outside of yeah knowledge of the profession. Yep. Yeah, so. you would be able to. Awesome. Cool. Um... <laughs> Uh, so I just have to figure out who, which historical person to tie Hugo to. Um, and it doesn't have to be someone that uh, historically wrote the charter, just someone that was historically involved. Mm -hmm. And then if anything, I can say that they have a claim that they did try to write something in the charter. And that's mm -hmm. what I'm looking for. Okay. Or something like that. Yep. You're inventing a conspiracy. Right, exactly. Okay. And I'm probably going to play it off as I don't believe them, but they're paying me. So I'm going to see what I find and just report back. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. That's, yep, that, that, that in theory will work. Okay. That takes you, <laughs> yeah. That makes me very yeah. confident. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it all depends on, uh, on, on, on the opinions of the, uh, of the people. I mean, definitely, yes, it will. Yeah. How quickly it'll get you into it, that mm -hmm. will, we'll have to right. see. And I might change the plan, of course, there if I read how the people are taking it. Like, yeah. if they are more interested that there is a conspiracy, then I'll go with the fact that I believe there's a conspiracy too, you know, whichever mm -hmm. essentially wins me over to their side in the moment. Okay. All right. Um, you uh all right that takes you a good chunk of the day by the time yeah. you make all the phone calls okay. and 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 connect all the dots and everything like that yeah um, and then after that would be essentially the forgeries of qualifications yep all right yep so yeah that would be another day <laughs> yeah at least yep so, um, okay oh myra um Yes. You This is going really fast. You I mean you're a pretty quick reader in general. Mm. But it's literally just a, you know, vup, and uh and some and some fast notes and the kid isn't if anything, the kid is speeding you up. Um, go ahead and uh, and make that same roll again. Do I need to wait for you? Uh, yeah. Where is it? Okay. Go ahead. Wow. I have enough plot points. I'm spending one to add in that form. <laughs> okay. Um, it's quiet. That's what you're not. It's just nice and peaceful in your head. Nothing, no other, you know, none of the, the none of the normal static that uh, mm -hmm. is there. Just completely clear and it's, it's uh, worrying. <laughs> it, yeah, it's like, it, it, it felt great and was like, you know, incredibly fast. Um, and you know, let you do everything fast, but yeah, it's just you know completely quiet. You know, Mira, Mira recognizes that, and then they'll like look down at the kid over at Jillian. Jillian had you, you vaguely remember Jillian slept for a little bit, and then, um, and then you know realized how long this had been and uh 
offered to 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 get you something to eat and uh had left uh, for that okay um it's a but, little less concerned that it's magically induced sleep yeah no it wasn't no it was <laughs> no that was my that that was infant mother of an infant yeah. induced sleep <laughs> um, i wasn't sure yep. <laughs> um but okay yeah um no, and the kid, gonna the kid's mentally, actually not a... What was that? Okay. They're going to mentally poke at it. Make sure... Is it asleep? Um... Because this quiet is uh, unsettling. Ah... Uh... It's one of those too good to be true sorts of silence. <laughs> yeah. Um Go ahead and um go ahead and give me a roll to uh to poke it. Yeah, let me give me a second to Uh, let's see. Mental. Do you want to do magic or manipulation? Or I have a focus of a specialty under focus for manipulation. That would be it. Yes. Okay, and then the prison sentence distinction. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Wow. I am rolling. I'm rolling extra ones today. <laughs> Yay. Oh, you win. Beat you by one. You beat me by one. Um, yeah, you no, it's there. <laughs> it it lashes back at you. Mm. Um, you you deflect it. Um and uh the um and the kid grabs your chin and you swear it's giving you this look of disapproval. Uh, then Jillian comes in and puts a plate in front of you, sweeps the kid up um, and uh, talks about it's time for him to, to, get a, to get a change. You have a very special child yeah he's extra special stinky right now um thank you though mm. and um and yeah once he leaves the room uh it's back yeah <laughs> that's really weird they're distracted for a bit while they eat before they eventually wander back to the books. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Christina. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give me a couple D6 roll. 2D6 roll. Ooh. Wow. Okay, that was interesting. That was a great roll. It was. It exactly matched mine. What? So, uh, okay. Oh. You, uh... After, uh... After doing the class, yeah, uh, you get back to your place uh, just as um, Mal is uh, walking out the door. How's it going? Where are you uh, headed? I was gonna go grab some dinner. Uh, nice. Yeah. Did you uh, want to? Uh, 
Did you did you want some? Dinner? Yes. Um I guess I could eat. Okay. Where where are you going? Uh well um there's a uh a place called the Macaroni Grill. That's not that far. Is that the place you draw on tables? I don't know. I think it is. Um, let me go put my beat the police gear up and I'll be right back. Okay. So she does that. Yep. Um, uh, do you have a vehicle? No, I was going to walk. It's only a mile. It's only about a mile away. Okay. No problem. Um, okay. You guys, uh, go ahead and give me a social role. She's also going to roll social light. Social. What else? That's it. Social. Um, just, uh, social, whatever you use. Social influence. Social light. Oh, an influence. Okay. Um, Are you rolling first? Yep. Give me a second. No, Tom. Get it done. <laughs> there you go. Got her done. <laughs> Ooh, I will use plot point and add that in. Yep. Just... And so is he. <laughs> So he he wins, but it's nothing nefarious. He's just trying to make a good impression. Okay. Uh, uh she's gonna say, "What did you do today?" Uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, <laughs> laundry and rested. Um, and I, you know, cleaned up a little bit. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah. No, it was nice. Uh. Nice heaven. I've been sleeping. I've been sleeping on the ground the last few, uh, last few nights or in, uh, in, in lean to. So it was kind of nice to, uh, to have a bed to lay down in. Oh, I bet. Did you mean any of the other guests? Uh, a couple of them. Yeah. They were nice. Everybody was, everybody's nice. It's kind of, you got a nice, uh, a nice place here. Thanks. It was left for me by one of my friends. It was a really nice, generous gift, like very generous. Um, but he left town and left it to me and I don't need all the room by myself. So I stay up in the hangar and then I converted the bottom part um, to different bunk beds and places for people to stay. And he used to work on old cars, his old trucks, truck, and um, that was it. Yeah, no, definitely. He got yeah. left it, yeah. It helps because I work with um, an organization, and so sometimes we have kids that come into town and need some help, and we're able to offer oh, places nice. to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. No, as far as I was kind of shocked. I didn't expect to find a place like that near an airport. Um, generally, the uh, all the land around there is taken up by hotels, but uh, which are much more expensive to stay in. Yeah, I never really asked um, how he ended up owning that hangar. Um, which maybe would have been important to ask, but um, nobody has said I can't have it. So I push. No. I just decided not to ask any questions. That Plus, works. I guess you could say I have friends in high places, so I think people leave me alone. <laughs> um. Okay. You guys get to the. You guys get to the restaurant. Um. Have uh. 
an enjoyable meal. Uh, I do got one more roll for you to make. Okay. Uh, this will be... Um, mental focus and socialite. Mental... Okay. Wow. That was rough wow. for you there, Tom. Ow. Damn. I think that's a pretty yeah. hefty um, polka die. D8 polka die. Yeah. Um. D10, actually. Is it? Yeah, that's the highest die that he rolled. Yeah. Um. Wow. The I want to see what he's what he's about to ask her. <laughs> he doubled up. Um. <laughs> um. He he makes a joke, which is funny to you. Mm-hmm but you instantly recognize it as being something that isn't funny in a modern context. Mm. So it's a hundred year old joke. <laughs> yeah. It's literally a hundred year old joke that doesn't, that wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't expect a woman of, of your apparent age of of Rhoda's apparent age to find funny. Um, she will laugh hesitantly, making it clear that she finds it very interesting that he would tell a 25-year-old looking woman that's 102 a joke that she should not know. Okay. Yeah, he, um, he he definitely he definitely realizes that yeah, it but didn't. Uh, sorry, it was something my grandfather told me. Yeah, do you also write with ink and a feather? Um, yeah, occasionally, depending on what uh, what what I'm doing it for. Um, and are, you're from New Jersey. Yeah, I, I I move around a lot. Where did you start? Uh, Europe in the eighteen hundreds? No, 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 no. Just how would I have started in the eighteen hundreds? I'm only I'm only twenty six. No, I just occasionally there's a there's a certain feel to um ink and quill that's different and uh and occasionally you want that calligraphy type look in your writing not in the people you spend time with yeah in my in my writing, occasionally I do that. I mean, they used to send, my grandmother always got a kick out of it when I sent her a letter that she could, and she could s sniff the paper and tell that um, the ink I used. Hmm. How nice. It's very thoughtful. Very, very thoughtful. Um, And he basically spends the, the rest of the dinner trying to, I'll repair that awkward uh, moment. Um, and she spends the rest of the dinner pretending that she's not on to him and making it seem totally normal, all the while paying attention to every single detail <laughs> that he's not saying. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say, go ahead and make that same roll. Just swap out notice for focus. Oh, look. It's a D8 also. 
Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. Oh, and roll. was that 24 yours? Um, that it's I got a 17 right now. Yes. Wait. Ooh, keep rolling those ones. Yep. Um, I do get. Two plot points back then, those ones. Yep, you get a plot point. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna call that um You know, you're trying to, but you're also having fun. You haven't done something like this for a while, and you know. He is kind of cute. Um, and you just eventually just kind of relax. Okay. She's not and, opposed to that. And just, you know, enjoy it. Uh, you definitely don't forget about it, but. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, and we are at the halfway mark or a little bit over it so we're going to take a uh a 10 minute break and uh we'll be right back thanks for sticking around folks thanks for sticking around folks uh and we are back um okay um rhoda you have a nice time at dinner um and uh well it's going back to your place so you both walk back uh, it's uh, not that kind of place <laughs> yeah no yes um and he you know and like i said he he does seem to work extra special hard to to make up for his earlier um the earlier awkwardness um mm -hmm. um but uh he just thinks this was this was much better than uh than eating by myself. Uh and uh he wishes you a good night. You too. I'm sure uh we'll run into each other again before you yeah. leave. Um I'll see you in the morning, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night. Okay. Uh Myra, um, you, you made some, it's slower going, so you're only about, you're about three quarters of the way through the book now. Um, it was slower going once, um, uh, yes. once the, once, you know, you had the, the annoying voice in your head again. But um, you keep, but you got through three quarters of it. Um, and it's, you're going to have to think about the differences. There's, um, there's definitely some, This feels like portents or, you know, um, mm. yeah, this, the, the differences seem to, um, seem to link to, um, and make predictions. Um, there was that guy that you, you vaguely remember, um, kind of like, you know, but you, you really, you really have to give it some thought to, to take, to take a look. It's with these kind of things, you know, a lot of times you can, you can make it seem whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to separate yourself. And that also gives the GM some time to come up with what's mm -hmm. actually in that book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but, uh, Jillian offers to feed you. 
Dinner. That. Uh, sure. Um. If, if if it's not too much trouble. Uh, no, it's fine. No, it's no. Honestly, it's kind of uh, nice. You seem to keep his attention. Um. Yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, you get, you have a nice, uh, a nice dinner. Um, during dinner, Omera would definitely try to pry and ask about what other sorts of, they wouldn't word it that way because, but what kind of talents he's shown already. Okay. Uh, give me a... Give me an influence and social role then. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I know those are your those are your strong suits. Yeah. Uh, social influence. Can I add in my magic of the ages? Yes. Yep. You would have seen. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got I... a ten. <laughs> Okay, 1d4, 1d6, and thankfully a d8 for my distinction. <laughs> oh, and I rolled a 1. That's great. Yep. Um, but you're close enough. Uh, that, uh, That just translates to a bit of stress. Um, <laughs> once you realize that you just kind of blurted it out. Uh, um, but you get a plot point. Um, well, nothing... Nothing too overt. Um, I mean, he's... He can escape just about anything, but I think that's just him being clever. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't made toys float or anything like that or anything burst mm -hmm. into flames. Um, but nothing. Nothing too much. Why did you spot anything when you had him? Something like that. He. Uh, how 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 to put this? Soothed. A uh, part of me that I didn't think could be. Out of character, I realize how that sounds, and it's... <laughs> oh. I, was, I was trying to be responsible and an adult. Omera's drying, okay? <laughs> oh. Well, um... Okay. <laughs> All right, let me. <laughs> There's a reason Chat. they have a D4 social. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, she do. Um, well, that. Um, yeah, no, I've had, I've had, I've had friends say, say the uh, the same thing. Sometimes just, um, holding a baby does that. It. it uh... This was different. Uh, I hold within me an entity separate to myself. It was quiet while holding him. It's... It is never quiet.
an entity in you? It's... Yes. Best not to get into specifics. Okay. But the uh, the little cutie uh, and she reaches out and pinches his his cheek to make him he laughs. Uh, he made all that go away then, I take it. T t temporarily, yes. Oh. Well, that's nice. I'm glad it it helped. Um, so what did you find? Did that help with the finding the differences between the books? I think so. It, the, the quiet, uh, I, I find it helped me work faster. Oh, and, and, you know, uh, Omira's social is low enough. She won't realize what's happening. But at this point, Jillian artfully changes the subject and mm -hmm. uh, looking for details and, uh, you know, talks to you about the different details in the book. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, They'll definitely... Omera definitely mentions plans to uh, research, look into the history of the author. Huh. Well... It should be. I mean, I know he was very popular in the science fiction circles, so you should be able to find plenty of information. Um, oh, and, and there's the yawns. It's time to put him to bed. Right. I, I, I will g get out of your way. Um, thank you for dinner. You're welcome. And, and lunch. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for looking into this. Um, mm. and uh, as you like, you know, say your goodbyes, he starts waving goodbye. Um, you leave um and then she's going to be starting research of her own <laughs> <laughs> um okay so question um mm -hmm. omira and reynard where are you mm -hmm. two staying um the board house yeah that's what i thought okay you got you got space you, you got yeah. your space in the board house Okay. Yeah, I figured yeah, we, Hugo mentioned uh, yeah. setting aside one of the fancier rooms for Omera. Said he'd had to have to find something for Ray, but until he does, they'd probably crash mm -hmm. in the same room. Yeah, okay. I, Ray probably has a closet <laughs> time. or something. Yep. <laughs> okay. But no, uh, yeah, and Ray is totally happy in taking advantage of room and board, essentially. <laughs> That's not how I thought that sentence was going when I was like, I'm okay, now you need to explain to me how they know each other. Yeah. <laughs> nah, our relationship doesn't need to be explained. It's mm. fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, uh, I mean, him and Elmira stayed in the same cabin for a while. So sharing a room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a very good point too. We were sleeping in the same van yeah, for a while no. too. So sharing a room at a boarding house is not gonna be a problem. Yep. Yeah, and it's actually well, it's actually a nice it it's a um it's actually a fairly nice place. This actually has a um widow's I think that's what they're called. Um, the mother-in-law suite? No, a widow's peak or ah, widow's okay. windows where mm -hmm. you go. Oh, yeah, the gothic yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. And you go, well, you go up to the top and uh, it's a full, 
full glass all around for watching mm-hmm. and looking all over the city and watching um in the past i believe it was the boats uh coming in ah uh-huh. um, interesting i think i'll have to look that up what that's called but yeah no it was yeah. um it was actually one of the places that uh i looked at when i was looking for an apartment a while ago <laughs> nice nice <laughs> um so <laughs> um one thing i was uh interested in was uh how the sample of hair turned out that uh rhoda got you don't get to know i don't get out to of know. character we do <laughs> yeah what what it's, did, a you, it's a secret you, you, you sent that out for uh to get you sent that out to get analyzed i did okay um and what has it, has, has it come back <laughs> yes it would have come back pretty quick did one of my police officer buddies tell oh. me mm-hmm. um was that synthetic or was it real Rainer? um he was probably using one that was real hair but in making wigs they tend to be treated with enough chemicals that it's yep they can trace that it belonged to a wig just based yeah. on the trace chemicals. That's, from what I understand. Yeah. Yeah, because every day he would definitely, I think, get a real hair one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that's what you get back, that it was actually it was hair from a wig. Okay. And she will said, Thank you for the information. Good to know. Mm-hmm. And um now, she the real question is, was that because Ray was wearing a wig or because he was near somebody that was wearing a wig? Oh, she has a way to find out. <laughs> She's just going to rip it right off. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, she yeah. will give uh, them a call to check on them and see if they need anything. Okay. Go um, ahead. And, uh, that that you'd call, be able to do. She'll, she'll call Ray. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> right. She, she finds yeah. yeah, she'll call yeah. Ray. Hey, Rhoda, right? That is right. I was just checking in, mm-hmm. making sure you guys got settled at the boarding house. Is have uh, you guys Me and Omera seem to be uh making this place work pretty well, I think. I'm good. I'm glad. Good. Did you guys get any research done or anything? Um in regards to because i knew you guys were you were yeah. looking into the records right right i uh i was looking into the hawthorne conservatory who right. are the ones that you know, kind of have control over the actual physical charter right now um right. so i was doing a lot of research with them and ways that we could possibly get access to the charter and now I'm in the midst of researching uh, Thomas Dongan and the various uh, people that were involved in making the charter to begin with, the actual oh, okay. public historical figures. Of okay. it. So the ones that would have be known by historians to be tied yeah. to it. Um, that makes sense. Because I'm hoping to somehow leverage that as a reason I need to take a look at it. Good. Well, I just got off the phone with Jilly. She's sure happy with Omera. Yeah, um, I, uh, I I still need to ask Omera what was going on, but she uh, she was acting a little interesting last time I saw her. Yeah. Well, apparently different. she helped with the baby quite a bit today. Jilly's super really? impressed, which can only work well for her. Cut to Omera engrossed in reading uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. They never got into fiction before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ray's probably glancing over every once in a while going like, oh man, this is going to open a can of worms now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, maybe it'll be good, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> she is going to ask them, do you all have, do you guys have any combat training or 
like if can you all protect yourselves if we if there was a fight or anything uh, i've been able to take care of myself i know omera definitely can um, okay i asked with because me, it really depends on what kind of fight we get into though like if someone jumped you would you be safe um i would either hope Omero was around, or I'd probably have to talk <laughs> my way out of it. Okay. Okay. I well, mean, I, can, I... I can defend myself, but at a basic kind of level, you know. Mundane level. Yeah. Okay, so to me, you can't then. Right. Yeah. Like, right, okay. uh, for your average person, I know how to throw a punch. Okay. But not so much but if, that, yeah. But if someone like me punched you, you'd be hurt. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Probably. So what I'm what I wanted you're to not offer on punching me, right? Not unless you're a jerk. I don't plan on being a jerk, so I think. Okay. I'll be good. good. I had to tell someone <laughs> the same thing. It's very interesting. Um, <laughs> I teach a um, combat um, training class at the police academy. That um, I wanted to invite you guys to, since we're all going to be working together. Uh, in the morning, I teach it, and I was seeing if you guys wanted to come. I'm going to invite, I have this new person staying at, um, I'm trying not to laugh, <laughs> at, at the bunkhouse kind of that I have for people coming through town, and I was going to invite him to come. I wanted to offer the same to you both. It's a very nice offer. I mean, I know the advantage of having those kind of skills, but and I've always kind of steered my life in a different direction, or at least tried to. Uh oh, are you afraid you'll get hurt? Most of the time, yes. Okay. Then I think you should come, because I can guarantee you that Albany is a hot pot for getting punched. <laughs> so I'll, I would definitely... I'll uh, keep an eye out for stray fists then. Smart. Smart. <laughs> and she and, uh, is... I'll pass this along to Omeira, see if she's interested, and I'll let you know. Okay, perfect. She's right. really into reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy right now, though. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. Maybe okay. I'll show her the movie, but that might blow her mind. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, you guys have a good night. Yeah. You too. Okay. Bye. Great. Rhoda nice. is she kind of thinks to herself, interesting. All right. Um, <laughs> I think so we don't get too far ahead of Hugo. I'm gonna end it here tonight. Okay. Um Wow. Okay, that was quick. Ava was done. <laughs> yeah. Her her computer is being causing yep. issues right now so <laughs> yet another reason to have good timing yeah hey uh, everybody gets to see my shoulder now all right yep. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay uh well yeah. uh, so on that oh here she is okay She's right yeah. back in um, uh ray probably will think to himself like i wonder uh if she's got the results back from that hair yet <laughs> <laughs> But okay, uh, sorry about that. That's okay. I was literally, oh, okay. I was literally. I don't know if you heard it. I was literally just saying, um, well, so we don't get too far ahead of you. Go. I was going to end it here, <laughs> and then you went and, gone, and then you were gone. It's like okay, that was quick. Uh, <laughs> um, no, my computer froze on me entirely. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, hey, thanks everybody for playing. Um, of course. Tomorrow night here on REM, we've got uh, Shadowrun should go on. Yeah. Tomorrow night on mm -hmm. the Shadowcasters YouTube channel, we have uh, Shadowrun Chicago. We are coming up on the last couple episodes, last couple sessions of that, uh, where I believe we have to break in and. Uh, Talk to somebody who, uh, yeah, find out 
we have to simply break into a military base. Should be. Oh yeah. Should be a nice cake walk. Fine. Yeah. Easy peasy. They need a no road run. run. Yep. Uh, <laughs> or a ray, depending on how right. you want to break yeah. in. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, they got they 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 got a KO and they got a Johnny. They'll be fine. Uh, but after that, uh, Thursday night or Wednesday night, uh, again on Shoutcasters Network, we've got uh, the uh, Shadowrun Denver, uh, where. Uh, we've gone down into the creepy place. We've found the people that are missing. And uh, so we've done all of our legwork. Now it's time to kick in the door and make some noise. And kill a vampire. I don't think it's a vampire. Ace is convinced. Also, I'm showcasing Ace's new wig Wednesday. I finally got it in. Cool. <laughs> yeah, got it in with this one. Um, nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, on this Twitch channel, uh, tomorrow night is um, Hell Slayers. Hell Slayers, thank you. That uh, is this week, right? Yep. Yes, streaming twenty third of May. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell Slayers go shopping before taking on their most dangerous mission so far: a rescue mission to save some captives from a fascist city state, city ship. <laughs> Uh, so that's Hell Slayers. Also, we may or may not have a video trailer to premiere then. Cool. Um, then uh, Thursday on Gen Con TV, uh, we're going to have uh, Rules of Cool at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, with returning guest uh, Rusty Zimmerman. He's going to talk <laughs> about Battletech, Shadowrun, and more. And then uh, Emerald Glitch uh, is... Will be at eight o'clock Eastern uh, with a title of Never Miss Leg Day. So that that title in itself is in is intriguing. Uh, so uh, got plenty of streaming left this week uh, on Rem. Uh, check it out. Got it. And on that note, if anybody has anything else, uh, we can say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>